how are you? Welcome in. Do you have an appointment today? Okay, one second. Let me just check the book here. Okay, what's your name? You're right on time, I appreciate that. One second here. Okay. Yep, I have you for the hair and makeup. Yep, okay, and um, I just need you to sign our waiver here and that's just saying, here's the pen, uh, that's just saying right here uh, that we can actually work on your hair and makeup and that you can scent and that you haven't used any products with retinol in the last 30 days. Yep, and initial right there. And right there. Okay, thank you so much. Alright, just let me get my stuff together here. You can start talking about what we are going to do with your hair and makeup today. So I'm just going to take some notes here so that I can get a look together for you. That is perfect, okay? So uh, first of all, I have you down here for a mermaid makeover, is that correct? Okay. And is this for any particular occasion? Okay. And do you have for, let's start with your hair, uh, do you have anything specific in mind of what you're thinking for your hair? Color, style, length, anything that you can kind of get me to go on and then I can suggest some styles for you, okay? Okay, so long hair. Okay, and you want something colorful? Any specific colors that you have in mind or that you would prefer if I have the wigs on hand? purple or red okay perfect and as far as style okay so you're open to style all right and then as far as um curly or straight any specific preference based on styling okay great all right, so I know that in your notes here that you had wanted to incorporate seashells in your look, is that correct? Okay, great. And let's move on to makeup. So typically uh, for, our, for our mermaid looks, and I will show you a few, we do do a scale look on partial of the face or the neck. Are you interested in doing that? Okay. And are you going for an actual mermaid or more of a siren? And then are you looking to incorporate glitter in today's look or any particular makeup colors? Lighters, lighter colors, okay. So um, like a lavender, maybe purple, light blue. Yep, okay. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. And do you want full face makeup? Do you want like foundation and everything with it like that? Mm -hmm. And do you want uh, brows to match your hair color? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Let's see here. That. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to step aside for a moment. I'm going to pull a few uh, looks for you. I'm going to show you some pictures and then we can talk through your look, okay? But we want to make sure that we get it uh, tailored just to you. All right, so I will grab that stuff and I will be right back, okay?
Okay, so I have a few looks here for you. I want to go through them with you, show you a couple, um, give you some recommendations based on your preferences. And then if you have a particular look here that you just like completely, that's fine. You can also incorporate different uh, aspects of each look into your look, okay? So just keep that in mind as we go through. All right, so the first one that I saw and thought of you was this one, and this is because it does incorporate a couple of the items that you had said you were interested in. So the first one was the lighter colors, okay? So she has the lighter hair color. I thought that was beautiful. She has some glitter. And I also thought that if you wanted to incorporate seashells over here or down here or even just here, you could do that in place of these glitter pieces, or we could just do the glitter. Her eyebrows did match her hair as you wanted. She had that gorgeous lip color, incorporating a number of different colors, okay? And she doesn't have scales on the face, but she does have makeup in different places where we could easily incorporate those scales, okay? So uh, she's beautiful. I love this look. I could easily do this for you with a wig on the side. So that's the first one, okay? What do you think of that? You do like the hair? Okay. Um, what are you thinking about uh, the, the glitter and this these accents here and here? Okay. Not sure? Okay. Well, let's just keep on looking, okay? And we'll see. Um, and did you like how they incorporated the lip color there? You did. Okay. Let me just take a couple notes here. So I'm thinking about that as we go, okay? one that's a little darker but let me just show you so keep in mind that while this does incorporate darker colors we don't have to use those colors okay so I love how they did these details here the pearls and then right down here okay so I thought of you um, with the seashells and that we could easily incorporate that in that way I also loved the glitter they did and as I stated we can easily make these lighter colors if you're interested what do you think of this look Okay, it's okay, but a little dark for you. Okay, well, we can still lighten the colors, but just keep in mind some of the styles and as we move forward, okay? Okay, so the next one I liked and I wanted to just show you an example here was this one. So she has some gorgeous scaling done here and I'm gonna do this the same way. I'm gonna place a net over your face just there and then I will just go over with a powder of your choice of color so that you can have that, okay? Now, she did also incorporate some glitter and what is looked supposed to look like scales down here, which I thought were above the brown, which we could do with our seashells, okay? And again, the hairstyle is pretty basic, so we could do that with any wig of your choice. Definitely like the scales on that one. And what do you think about the color of those scales? Mm-hmm. Maybe something a, like a little lighter. Okay. Anything else you like or don't like about this one? Wanted something a little bit more unique for the hair. Okay. All right. And then I have one more I'm going to show you here. And I think you're really going to like this one. So I thought of you because one, this is one of the only examples that I have to incorporate seashells, right? That's a very unique request that I don't typically get. So I thought we could possibly do something down the side of your face like that. Um, and I love these long lashes. It's up to you. What do you think about the lashes? You're not used to wearing lashes. Yeah, it, it is difficult to adjust. So you might not be wanting to do that this time, um, but just something to consider. And I also loved how they did the brown. They kind of lined it. We could possibly look for some smaller shells or even pearls and just line right there. And they also matched it with just a very basic blonde hair color. They didn't have like a blue or a purple or, you know, an eccentric hair color. So you like the seashells there? Okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, just tell me how you feel about this for the incorporation of some of the different aspects of the look. 
we are going to take this hairstyle and of course you said it when you wanted it to be long so we will make it longer but we will push to the side all to one side uh, put some uh, bobby pins there hold that up and i can even um trim down the wig a little bit if you want for that side okay and then i am going to incorporate a gorgeous lip color that will match that wig or the other makeup colors on your face that you choose okay so we'll incorporate that there and then from let's see here i think it's okay yeah then i will make sure as we had talked about that i am incorporating the scales here on the side of the face just like this model has on her okay and then running down from those scales i will be incorporating the seashells and i will also run some along the brow there what do you think good all right perfect so let me just grab my items that i'm going to need to get started we are going to start first with your makeup and that's just because um, it's going to be easier for me to do the hair after um, i'm gonna have to pull all of your hair back and uh, for the makeup and i don't want the wig or the hairstyle getting messed up when we go in to do the makeup if we do it second so we're just going to start with that so i'm just going to grab all of my makeup items here okay and i will just be right back with you i'm just gonna set our agenda with our preferences right there okay so let me just grab these items start out so you had let me know early in, in advance that you had wanted the shells incorporated so I was able to collect quite a few shells I'm just gonna show you a few okay just to give you an idea of what I have I collected some smaller ones some larger ones and I can kind of sift through these as we go and find the perfect ones for you but I just want you to thinking about this look last week so yeah sure okay so this is just a, like a small sample of what I have okay so I have a couple smaller ones that I was thinking we could do with these small snail shells okay in place of it pearls uh, just along the brow okay then I have some larger ones that I thought that we could incorporate around the scales. I especially loved this one because it kind of has a scaly look, but um, it is a shell, so I thought that we could put that on going down the face for that kind of like Davy Jones siren -y kind of look. I love this one. It is a like a small conch. Uh, I will try to figure out a way to incorporate that. I have some just basic flatter shells just your basic seashell that you um what you see at the beach with different tones and i have some bigger snail shells and i have a ton of the little ones like i said so we can use those some really unique ones like this one that we can try to figure out how to incorporate okay so i have plenty of shells that we will use as we move through and then i know you had stated you want some wanted some bright colors that were more like light pastel colors so i want to show you a couple of the glows uh, that i pulled that we might be able to do your scales with, okay so the first one is this Anastasia Moonchild. So I have some gorgeous mermaid colors in here. I have the purple horseshoe, which I think is honestly the best one for you. I have a blue moon, also a gorgeous one. I have a blue ice, and I have a greenish lucky clover. And then I also have the Aurora palette, 
with some really gorgeous blues and purples as well. There's a blue. And then here is the purple. So you could really go with any of these. But I wanted to give you that idea as we start out. Are you thinking you want to go with one of those? Okay, I'll keep this out. Okay, so what I'm going to start by doing is getting your skin just basic prep, okay? So I'm going to put on some moisturizer. Um, and I'm going to start actually with the oil reducer. So I'm just going to spray it these. art. coverage. Um, I have a couple hot heavy coverage or full coverages. I'm not going to use those. It's going to mess up the look. You don't want a cakey look. And most of your skin is going to be covered with other colors. So we'll just grab I'm going to get a CC cream. with this um, CC cream right here. This is the IT CC cream in a four. Okay. And we'll apply concealer after. And I am going to put a good bit of this on. We don't want to cake it on, but we do want to make sure you have some really full, beautiful coverage, okay? All right, here we go. Gonna get over here.
gonna blend in that concealer on your forehead. And then I'm going to blend in on your chin. So before we go further, I am going to apply some glue to your lashes. I know that sounds crazy, but that's how we're going to get them um, that nice color. We have to apply a glue over them first, and then I'll paint over them. So let me just grab that. Gonna be just over your brows. That's the first layer, and then I'm just grab the next one. So just bear with me a second. Okay, so that's just gonna sit for a few minutes, okay? Okay, so if you just give me a second, I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna grab the netting that we're gonna put on your face for the scales and then we will continue, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take this net. You can see how when I stretch it, you could, it looks like that scale. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just going to pull this over side of your the side of your face, okay? And um, I will probably push it over your head like so, just to keep it on that side. It won't touch here; it'll just be on your hair. That's why we're doing this first. Uh, it'll stay on there while I do the brushing. So um, first of all, do you want it on this side or this side for the scales? That side. Okay. So I'm just going to. this over okay and I'm just going to keep pressing this out until I get this situated over here okay it off so you don't have a lot of fallout um now as far as colors what colors were you thinking you wanted to do i'll show them to you together so you can see the difference now while these do look darker and more vibrant the way i showed you the swipes you, you could tell these really do have a gorgeous tint to them i'm gonna do this one okay perfect so i'm just gonna start again with this
Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with a much a much uh, fluffier brush, okay? And that's just to kind of even out that um, those colors and those tones, all right? So that they're not all packed on. I'm just gonna push your hair out of your face. Okay, so we have a gorgeous scale, so I'm going to let that sit for one second. I'm going to grab, sorry, I'm going to grab my um, setting spray. spray this over here okay. and then I'm just gonna take this off of your face Of your hair, just because it kept falling as I was doing the scales, I am going to clip that back. Okay, that's much better. Okay, and then I'm gonna get some of my glue set and mixed here. So, this is facial glue, and I'm just going to mix some of that. Do you have a preference on the uh, certain shells we put on, or do you want me to just kind of use my artistic abilities and pick which ones? Okay, so just the eyebrow ones, you want the smaller snails, and then the other ones you're fine with, whatever. Okay, all right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start out, all right, and by using this, it's gonna literally look like a toothbrush, it's like a small toothbrush, and I'm going to put some of that uh, glue. This is facial skin safe glue, okay, for makeup. And it's similar to what I put on your brows, and I actually will add some to your brows now. Okay, and that's just to, um, we really need those set for when I add the pigments. All right, so I'm just going to put this along the areas of your face that I'm going to I am going to place some on this side, not just along those um, scales. I'm going to just try to balance it a bit. And this is just a prep of the skin. We will apply more glue as we go. Okay, I'm just going to set that over here. Uh, and when I go in, I will actually be using this small little brush that has this to apply heavier amounts of glue and then I'll go in and, and apply that. I 
actual shell to the face, okay? All right, perfect. All right, so now I'm just gonna start to apply these shells. got a good bit of glue right there on my brush right, and I'm just going to apply that to the first area we're gonna apply this first this shell right there okay now let's come in my tweezers okay too heavy okay and I'm just gonna go back in again and just go around that area with the glue okay each shell and how we apply it is gonna have to be different like based on the weight and how big it is so I'm gonna go ahead and move on with a couple more and then just tell me if you're experiencing any type of discomfort okay one down here. one if that's okay with you I'm gonna go for that this broken one I'm really going for like a little bit of like a Davy Jones locker type feel okay so I'm just gonna put this one right there okay doesn't feel too heavy Pretty large, larger. Didn't stick the eye there. Okay. okay. It's good. All right, let me just look for like one more, okay? For that side. 
how about that one piece I showed you that I like? This was really big. This one. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside for just a second and go in with a little bit more of the glue. I'm just gonna go right there, right here. Okay. Yeah, um, I think this was a really creative idea actually. I might suggest it to more people more often. Okay, too heavy. Feels okay? Alright, and then we're gonna look. I'm gonna move to your other side now, but I think I'm gonna try like a shell like this um, right by the ear right here coming down. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I don't know if it'll work or not. So let's just try. Alright, so I have the glue here ready for the other side. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna shift here. Okay, and I'm just going to gonna get in really close to your ear all right got that all right now I'm gonna do two more right there uh, very small ones next to your ear your traditional small is that the smallest one that I have all right that is small enough I was trying to find a smaller one but I think this will do this is pretty uh unique I like that all right so I'm just gonna get in close here to the ear and browns in it so I think it will look very pretty so I'm just going to put that one just below the others sorry okay they fit right next to each other there That's gorgeous okay so for now I think we're done with that we're gonna let that sit and I'm gonna move on to your eyebrows, okay? So for your brows, we need to talk about what color hair you're gonna do. Because you wanted the brows to match the hair, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what color hair are you thinking? Purple or red? Okay, so how about we do this? How about we match your brows to your scales? And then if we do a purple or red hair, it's just going to look like, you know, a mermaid, right? And then the face pieces will match. Okay, all right, let's do that. So let me just grab those items. I'm gonna use this one. All right. Much 
much smaller brush than that. Yeah, this will do. Yeah, it's really pretty. Look how like it's so it's just so dazzling. Don't have any fallout. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in on the brow here. I'm just kind of dabbing over that area. Yep. I'm just going to do the same on this side. go into um, some blush or I'm sorry not blush um, I will do we'll do a highlight that I'm gonna do actually last let's do your lashes did you want to do the brows like we were we we're talking about you just don't you don't want or I'm sorry not the brows the lashes you don't want to do the, the long lashes right okay let me just grab the mascara then. Now, are we going to do an eye, um, an eye makeup at all? Like, as far as shadow. Okay. So, you just want a very heavy glitter, and then we're going to do above there uh, the couple of shells, right? Okay, I think I have... use this which is actually a rainbow highlighter um, as your eyeshadow and I'll show you why since we're going for this very colorful vibe this will kind of incorporate um, some different uh, metallic colors that we do want in there so I'm gonna add that is that okay with you I'm just going to go in right up here. You can see there's still fallout. do a quick wing on the eyeliner okay this is going to be a lighter brown color i don't want to outdo that i'll do the sparkle but i do want some definition there Mascara. 
I'm going to start out with a, a mascara primer. This is just going to be white, okay? okay. Now I'm going to do the same over here. Start over here. Okay, that looks good, and then I'm gonna just go. Perfect. lipstick I am going to go in with this melted latex purplish blue gloss that will match all the skin um, stuff we just did your highlights all of that and then I will just highlight the gloss in the center of the lip right here with this plumping serum that will help give you a little bit more um, volume to the lip yep. okay here we go going to go in just in the middle of the lip and just yep all right and then lastly i'm going to apply a little bit of glue above your brow those should be dry now and then we'll just pop those um, seashells right over top I'm just going to put that right up here. All right, perfect. I'm going to grab those seashells, okay? setting spray and then we're going to move on to your wig, okay? Alright, let me go grab your wig and I will be right back, okay? Okay, so I chose this wig for you. It got a mix in it of reds and purples, alright? So I thought that that was a perfect um, kind of that was a perfect compromise between the two colors that you were most interested in. 
it does already have some curls and i can touch those up a bit but they're super bouncy i love this wig um since this is just a night a thing for the night i'm not gonna do a wig cap and do super secure as far as the glue i am going to go ahead and just put this on top of your hair that you already have pulled back and i'm going to clip this in with some bobby pins and then just style okay all right so it just sits still for me and i'm just going to put this just over your head and that is just going to fall on your face for a moment and i'm just going to secure this back with a clip for now all right and i'm going to go ahead and grab my bobby pins and we will get this thing secured down for you and styled okay i'll be right back Just take a look at the back of your hair, okay? Just want to kind of comb this out with my fingers on the sides and the back a little bit. Okay, I'll go back and style that as we go through, but it's pretty laid, so we're pretty good in that um, aspect. Alright, so let's just get started with the style. Alright, the first thing that I'm going to actually do before I even start brushing through it is I'm going to just apply some bobby pins, alright? So I'm just going to grab a couple of these off and I'm going to work to just secure these around the head, okay? slide back here to the back and put a couple just underneath your um, the back of the wig, okay? Okay, and then the same thing on the other side. So I think we have it pretty secured down, okay, and I'm just going to try to run a comb, or this, I'm sorry, I'm going to run this brush through it, just the top, and that's just to make sure that we um, are not messing up those curls, okay? Okay, 
Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna head back here to the back and do a little bit of brushing back here, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Just right now as far as like those bouncy curls I'm just gonna kind of run my hands through and this will help to take out some of that static but and kind of keep it brushed without brushing right so too. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just going to move back to the back again. Do the same thing back here, okay? gonna spray this down with a little bit of hairspray especially the curls in the back okay okay so those shouldn't fall now I'm going to flip that hair from this side to the other side okay because we're gonna clip it and it's all gonna be on that one side is that all right the style okay that you were chosen so I'm just going to brush out the very top again of the hair let's just get it over smoothly to the other side without any bumps going to clip this okay grab this bobby pin grab this bobby pin here sorry about that and I'm just going to Just gonna stick. 
look secure? Does it feel secure? Okay, so I'm going to just pop a couple extra curls in on this side. All right, and then this will kind of just be so your face is very, um, so the hair kind of curves in and frames. That's the word I was looking for. I can think of it. Um, so the, the hair frames the face. Okay, so I'll just do that with these curls. Just gonna do two curls on this side. Okay. Beautiful curl. And then I'm gonna do the second piece. There we go. All right, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing. Um, I'm gonna do one down here since we have it, don't have hair on this side of the face. I wanna make sure we have plenty of curls around the face, okay? Especially on this side, it's gonna be really pronounced over there. Okay. All right. And then we'll so excited for you so i know this is going to be just a couple hour event so i will be here when you get back to take all of this off for you okay um and i can't wait it's going to be so fun and i hope you enjoy your time and i will see you very soon okay